Long, long ago, when the world was new, deep in the forest there lived a very old beaver. Now this beaver had built a wonderful beaver pond. And all the forest creatures that lived around there loved this old beaver because he was a good friend of them. He'd give them good advice. And he would share his beaver pond with them. And he would even teach the young animals how to share and how to be safe in the forest. Now, this old beaver never asked for anything for himself, but sometimes late at night, the animals would be walking by the beaver pond, and they would see the old beaver out there standing on top of his beaver lodge. It'd be on a cloudless night with the stars shining bright in the sky. He'd always be looking to the north and looking at one particular brightest star to the north. And sometimes they'd even see him reach his paw up as high as he could, like he wanted to just pluck that star right out of the sky and keep it for himself. And sometimes, if they're very quiet, they could hear him singing to that star, singing about how much he really wanted to have that star just for himself. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Now, there was one particular forest creature, his name was Baby Duck, and Baby Duck would swim in the beaver pond every day and visit with Beaver while he's working on the beaver dam. One day, this Baby Duck decided that he would just fly into the sky and get that star that Beaver wanted so bad and bring it back and give it to him. And he tried, he tried really hard. He would even get out there and he would flap his little wings and he'd go up as high as he could, but he could never fly into the sky. After all, he's just a baby duck. But he did do one thing. He went and got advice from another friend of his. It was a very old badger who lived in a hole in the ground. The badger advised him to follow this one particular trail deep into the forest. And he followed that long enough, he'd come to a giant oak tree. And in that giant oak tree were four very old, very wise owls. And these owls knew about magic. Maybe they could help him. So Baby Duck did that. He followed that trail as far as he could. And finally he came to that giant oak tree. And he talked to those four owls, explained to them why he wanted to be able to fly into the sky. Because he wanted to get that star for his friend Beaver. Now these four old owls, they thought he was just a little baby duck. But they got to thinking about it, and they talked it over among themselves, and they thought it was very nice the baby duck wanted to do this for his friend Beaver. And they also thought this would be a good opportunity for Beaver to be able to teach all the young forest animals about sharing. So they decided they would give him enough magic power to fly into the sky and get that star. And you know what? When baby duck opened his wings, he soared up into the sky, all the way up to where the stars are. And he used his tiny beak and he plucked that shiny star right out of the sky. And he flew back down to the beaver pond and he gave it to his friend Beaver. Now Beaver was very happy and he was very grateful. But he had to speak to baby duck and explain that even though he wanted this star more than anything, it wasn't for him to have. It's something for all the forest animals to share. Beaver asked Baby Duck to look back up in the sky, right where that star used to be, and there was nothing there, just a blank spot. So Beaver looked at that star for a minute, and then he said some quiet words to the star. Some of them think maybe that were magic words, but when Beaver lifted his paws up high, that star just took off and rose back up into the sky, right where it belonged. 
Now, Beaver had taught Baby Duck how to share. And all of the other animals, when they saw this, they gathered around the beaver pond, and they sang a song about what Beaver did and what he taught them. Beaver knew it was not right to take away a star so bright, a sparkling gem, a thing so rare, a treasure all were meant to share. He put it back into the sky, up above the world so high. Beaver taught a valuable lesson that day for all of us that there are certain things in nature that are meant to be shared, not taken and fenced away or hidden away just for your own self. And that's the lesson Beaver taught the world about sharing. Thank you.